So about a year ago, I bought a boat. It was a 15-foot uh, boat with a single-cylinder Yanmar diesel. Uh, it's called a launch, and it's a 1972. Basically, the idea is you would take people to and fro the dock and their mooring, uh, and then push them, typically on their sailboat, out to sea, and then bring them back in and bring them back uh, to the dock. Uh, again, it's an inboard, it's diesel. Uh, I went to buy it. Uh, saw it on land, uh, had it run for me with uh, water going into it, ran, uh, seemed just fine. I ended up getting it back uh, and getting it into the water and found it had a really bad vibration uh, when it was in gear. And also noticed that a lot of water was coming in through the cutlass bearing, which is what surrounds the propeller uh, um, shaft on an inboard boat. So I knew something was up. Um, I ended up uh, pulling the boat out, um, getting a brand new prop shaft, a brand new cutlass bearing, and having the uh, propeller uh, reconditioned, as well as all of the um, couplers uh, that match, uh, connect the uh, propeller uh, shaft to the engine. Did all of that, went to go turn over the engine to warm up the oil to do an oil change, and my diesel, Yanmar, single cylinder, ran away on me. Uh, for those not familiar, basically, diesel engines can get into a feedback loop that they can't get out of. Uh, there's no turning, the ignition key doesn't do anything, uh, adjusting the throttle lever doesn't do anything. They're basically uh, kind of stuck in this really bad place, uh, and they go until either uh, the air is cut off, um, or until there's no more fuel or until the engine uh, sort of uh, breaks. Um, this happened for me. I was somewhat familiar with what it was when it was happening. Uh, it was really loud. Uh, the engine was overheating as this was happening. And I ended up yanking out the fuel tank to starve the engine of fuel. The uh, air box on the engine uh, was really close to the alternator belt. And I didn't want to have my hand near that for fear of uh, possibly uh, walking away without a finger. So after this happened and I was able to kill the engine, it still turned over afterwards just fine. And I figured, you know, maybe I bit off a little more than I can chew here. I'd love to have a real diesel guy take a look at this. Get a mechanic down. We go through the engine. He thinks it's the fuel pump. I replace the fuel pump. Um, we get it running again and he sends me a video um, today actually showing that the head gasket is completely blown and you can just see that the engine also appears to very much be overheating uh, given the uh, uh, you know water sort of evaporating off of it so he came to the point where he was basically like I'm not sure that this engine's worth it and I honestly don't really blame him uh, so the goal behind this channel is to yank this engine out of the boat which should not be too hard as it just has a single hoist point and uh, is a single cylinder, throw it in the back of my car and then bring it uh, over to this workshop that I have here um, and go through it. My goal is to try and clear out all the rust that might be in the raw water cooling channel, uh, change the yeah. gasket, head gasket, uh, try and see uh, maybe if the cylinders, uh, uh, any of the seals anywhere else on the engine need any sort of attention. Try and put it back together and put it back in the boat. So. Um, yeah, please stay tuned. Next uh, video is going to be getting it in the shop, trying to get a nice uh, uh, place to uh, work on it uh, and uh, run it with some uh, water um, and just kind of go through it. And uh, happy to uh, um, just take people along on that and get any feedback that uh, you have or, yeah, would like to put in, uh, in the comments below. So feel free to throw a like on the video, subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you next time.